I had to start my review at the rear of this car. Cherry Tigo 8 Pro Max. Welcome back to yet another video, by the way. don't know why they have these four pipes to be honest with you i have no idea why they have these four pipes because it's just for aesthetics like if it made some sound i'd appreciate it but like it's just they are real trust me like you can literally put your hands in both of these things they are real trust me right but why if they don't make any sound or uh, why put them on but I think it's such a good looking rear end. That's one thing I'll give them that. And I think that obviously then added onto that aesthetic. So you have this brake light incorporated into this spoiler, which I think is quite cool. You've got this light bar that runs all across, obviously, because if you don't have a light bar these days, then what are you doing? Like it's got some bulb effect in there, a cherry badge on there. So this is the 390 and this mean, stands for the torque essentially. So this 390 here represents the torque. You will see other cars will be 290, etc. So this represents the torque. So this is powered by a 2 liter turbocharged petrol engine that will give you 187 kilowatts and 390 newton meters of torque. Cherry Tigo Pro Max badge on there. And I think that it's just a really good looking rear. I won't lie to you. A lot of people look at these cars and I mean rightfully so. It's a beautiful looking car. When you open the tailgate, you are met with a ton of room. And last time I called out Woolworths to like sponsor me with water, they didn't want Aquel, Aquele, Aquel, you guys are up now. So you've got a lot of room in this in this um in this trunk essentially. That's with the seats folded down. So you lift up the seats manually. And this is essentially the room that you'll get. You've got that. You can put in one bottle there. Let me just do that. Get this one out. You can do that. So essentially, you can put like two, four of these five liter bottles. So that'll give you about 10, 15, 20 liters of wood space. That's just my math. Doesn't make sense, but trust me, it makes sense in my head. But yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a seven seater, obviously. Uh, unlike the Tigo 7, um, which is a five seater, this is a seven seater. But I always say that right here, it's not really ideal for adults. Although they do try and make it as comfortable as possible, this is essentially for kids. And that is the rear of the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro Max. Sounds like my phone. So coming to the front of the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro Max, you are met with a very similar front end essentially than you'll see in the Cherry models. It's got these L-shaped daytime running lights with LED headlights. This will do the auto uh, beam so that you don't dazzle other drivers in front of you. You've got your indicator lamp right on here, which I think is quite cool as well as some, you know, some functional, well, non-functional vents essentially on here. This grill with these chrome effects this actually illuminates at night this logo illuminates at night which is why i don't know it's cool i guess you can show your friends hey look like what my car is doing in front <laughs> but i think i like that a lot this almost splitter ish in front with your parking sensor as well as your adaptive cruise control sensor on there but i think that it's it's a quite cool looking front especially in this paintwork as well you hardly see this green paintwork so i just think it's like some really really good looking front you've got some creases in the bonnet which give it also like a mean stance if you see just on here this crease that goes across here as well which is quite cool you've got these 19 inch alloys which i like a lot i like these alloys a lot and i mean just the rubber as well on this um on this these are the cooper tires which are very comfortable of um, you know driving in the road etc but i do like this alloy design you come across the side then you've got this i'm so sorry for the noise in the background but you've got this wing mirror here with your indicator lamp in it as well as your camera for your 360 degree camera you also have these 
roof racks on top which are quite cool and keyless and entry and keyless go into the car so yeah that is the overall aesthetic of the cherry tigo 8 pro max i'm going to jump inside and show you the interior before we take it on for a drive but i do think that for 700,000 rand 700,000 rand the chinese are not yet to play guys i understand why the germans are shook bam let's jump inside Inside of the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro Max, and nobody can tell me that you are not impressed in instantly when you come into this car. You've got this really nice flat bottom steering wheel. It reminds me so much of the Mercedes-Benz steering wheel. And obviously, Cherry and Mercedes were in some partnership. I'm not sure if they're still in the partnership, but you'll see. I mean, even with the like with this speaker design, that essentially this reminds you of that, you know, Burmester. <laughs> Um, speaker outlet that you have at Mercedes, even the, you know, the memory um, seat buttons that are on there, just, you know, everything, the buttons on here, you'll, you know, reminds of Mercedes, even, you know, that volume knob that's on there, um, essentially that's also Mercedes, but anyway, that doesn't take away from the beautiful aesthetic that's in this car, a really gorgeous, especially in this brown faux leather that they have on here, so in terms of your climate control, you can uh, you use it from on here it's where you can just swipe on there and then choose whatever mode you want to be in your infotainment with apple carplay and android auto wirelessly you've got this wood frame running across on here which is quite cool which is quite nifty quite cool in here you have quite a lot of space as well you have space on there you have space under here which is quite cool usb c ports in the front and in the rear so just a lot of space overall a panoramic sunroof on here and you know what i really really like it so this car automatically has a um let me just show you right on there if that's gonna work so it's got your dash cam essentially and you can put your micro sd on there and it will literally record when you drive etc which is quite cool and so there you go so this is mountain if you can see on that camera my hand will pop up somewhere on there it should there we go there's my hand so that is the dash cam that's on there. You'll record everything and, you know, take pictures, etc. So that is quite cool. But otherwise, you've got your navigation system on there by Turbo Dog, which is not bad and not too laggy. Um, everything else, you know, is just standard. You can control your ambient lighting, your music, your um, 360 degree panoramic. Um, I need to put it on, but you've got a 360 degree camera and you can collect, connect on there. So just a really functional infotainment the icons are big enough as well which is what i like um so you can easily since everything is integrated with the system the icons are big enough for you to press and you know just swipe through etc so that is quite cool you also have a voice assistant in here which i won't press now and it's quite cool how she moves around or how he or she moves around and then your di digital drivers display g was your digital drivers display in here which will show you everything the one thing i don't like is that when you do switch through different themes it switches off your music to switch on to that theme and you're just like why are you switching off my music so that is quite cool a cherry logo into there but a really nice interior guys like the sony sound system in here is a banger the you know seats are comfortable you've got these really nice um pillows that can you know fold essentially so you can just fold it like that you know it's it's just quite cool to essentially shape your head so i am impressed with how the interior is they've done a great job in the interior and this is why people buy this these cars for seven hundred thousand rand guys yeah yeah no i'm fully fully impressed with the interior and i mean even in the rear vehicle seats and this is my driver position and you'll sit comfortably as well so yeah i am fully fully impressed with this car i have never been as impressed um, with the cherry models i mean i've driven out back to back a seven and an eight and i'm just like i understand why these are such volume sellers for the cherry brand and why they keep on bringing so much more other cars into the country because obviously people are loving them and rightfully so so yeah i know um riba had a problem in terms of um the the display going off but i haven't had any issues there you also have the buttons on um on your right hand side here essentially this is your traction control off your 
start stop your lane assist as well as your park controls which you can just click on there which is quite nifty because it's right there you don't have to be searching in the infotainment and i mean we complain a lot that no you have to go through there you have to go through there but right now they just put it on there which is quite cool so yeah guys let's go for a drive and then i'll give you my overall impressions but kudos cherry so you join me inside of the cherry tigo 8 pro max all-wheel drive and the one thing i really like about this car is the way that it drives i'm not going to lie to you i was pretty bummed out by the front wheel drive right the tigo 8 pro i didn't there was a lot of wheel spin obviously um it had a lot of power and this all-wheel drive is what was needed in this car that is what was definitely needed it drives phenomenal um and even with just you know how it soaks in road imperfections these 19 inches of wheels that are on here are, are good it you know it drives smooth you know you've got lane keep assist uh, adaptive cruise control all the nice gizmos that make a car and for 700,000 rand i understand why this brand and the incoming chinese brands are giving the other brands such headaches because this thing drives perfectly i mean there are some imperfections like i mentioned in the in the interior where you have to dig through things but it is pretty simplified it's not a it's not a hectic hectic thing and then there are things like this indicator when you indicate it goes really loud which like can be a bit annoying otherwise it drives really well the seven speed dual clutch gearbox perfect 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 I love it so much um, and you know not a CVT obviously as opposed to their Tigo 4 so that is quite cool I am I, listen man I can't complain yo but you know what the bigger problem is the fuel consumption in this car it is where the Chinese are still struggling to perfect our market that's where they're struggling they do claim about 11 but yo I've been doing about like at times essentially like 14 15 and that's not even me trying to push the car that's like you know just average driving and yeah no it's a problem you get about 480 k's of range on a tank so i think once they do perfect the the, the fuel consumption issues then they have a well round product otherwise this thing is perfect man drives like a dream the sound system in this car is perfect that Sony um, surround sound that they have in here is brilliant. I mean, it gives off a, it gives off a really nice vibe in terms of, you know, it's premium. Although these are like you know four leather seats and whatever, but they do make it look like it's premium, like it's perfect. So I am really really pleased with how this car drives. You've got various drive modes, and obviously because now this is a four wheel drive, you've got Next, you know, and entered. there's that sports normal Economic eco, you know. So yeah, and also that I don't like it. Like why must you tell me Economic that voice? Just switch to the drive mode without telling me, man. It does get annoying. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, all wheel drive, so there's no more wheel spin. Drives perfectly off the line. 187 kilowatts is a lot, and it's perfect for this car. So yeah, guys. Thank you for joining me in another review of the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro Max. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and tell me what you guys want to see next. See you on the next one.